Hey peeps, and welcome back to another weird episode of Genesis Part 2. I am recording this voice in post because, well, things kind of went wrong. I accidentally set my noise gate just a little bit too low. So my microphone quality for this video was actually terrible. I was cutting out and I tried to go along with it, but it, it's just so bad. So I decided to just kind of do like a little recap episode of what happened today. So in the last episode, we got this bulb dog. We got two spinos and I went ahead and bred them up and got this perfect little baby spino right here. It was actually the first egg. I was pretty hype about it actually. So we went ahead, bred her up, fully imprinted her and went to take her out into the Rockwell biome once again. But on our way to the Rockwell biome, we went back to, well, I mean, obviously we went back to space because we have to cross space to get there. And there was new asteroids. I think this was maybe a yellow drop. I can't remember exactly, but basically it just had obsidian and metal, which is pretty cool. If we ever need to make a bunch of polymer, we know where a bunch of uh, obsidian is on the drop color. So yeah, we eventually made our way back to the Rockwell biome, found out that shadow mains absolutely still stun you off of large carnivores. So that was pretty fun. So I went ahead and made my spinos kill them by himself or herself rather, and then we went back to the river. We found this 280 female. We needed a male, but this female did have 49 points in two melee. So I went ahead and knocked her out and we made the process of taming her up and she eventually ended up getting a pretty nice melee of 69, which was pretty good, but spinos are so common in that lake. I decided to just put her into a cryopod and keep the search going. In case we could find a male with better melee, that way we wouldn't have to do any shenanigans with breeding with the bad male to get the good stats on him. And it paid off because eventually we found a 280 with 50 points as well as a very high level tech spino, which I didn't kill, but I didn't tame. So if we ever find a high level female tech spino, we can maybe tame up both of them. But for now, I had my eyes set on this 280 male right here. We then knocked him out like we did with the female, tamed him up, and like I said, it paid off because he got 70 points into melee, just one point higher than the female, but hey, one point is still better. And it's already a male, so we don't have to do any breeding shenanigans with the other females. So of course we put him in a cryopod and went back, but it took us so long to get the Spino, a new asteroid cluster appeared and guess what peeps? That's right, it was element shards. I was like, oh! So I immediately went back to base to grab our Anki and harvest up all this element. So, but first we tossed out our brand new Spino, we put them on breeding, and I wasted no time, peeps. I wanted as much element as we could get. So I grabbed our RG, grabbed our Anki, and I immediately flew out into space. And I got jump scared by a 310 Void Worm that actually almost killed me. So that was pretty terrifying. You peeps actually told me that the Void Worm teams are like a Reaper and Equus combined, which is, very interesting, but yeah, it was kind of an effort trying to get rid of this void worm. Eventually, we did it through some shenanigans, but yes, peeps, we flew our Anki around space and just got a ton of element shards and raw element. I didn't think you would get raw element, but well, we did, and this felt like just massively cheating because we were flying and it was just crazy. And in honor of all the element we got, I named our RG element because without our RG, we wouldn't have been able to get so much. And look at how much we got, peeps. There, we, fill, we basically spent the entire arc day out there. We filled up a huge, large storage box full of element. We got a ton of actual element and just so many element shards. So that was nice. I also then went back to base and I saw my first paleo arc, Greater Yudi. So that was cool. After we saw the Greater Yudi, I went ahead and bred up another perfect Spino using the mail that we just got. And just like with the first Spino of this episode, peeps, we got all the perfect stats on the first egg. So there was some great Spinosaurus luck in today's video, peeps. But because Spinos take a while to grow up, I got bored and decided to go back to the space biome. And today was Mutagel and Ambergris. Now, I'm not sure what Ambergris is really used for on this map because there's no uh, lava boys. But the Mutagel is pretty huge because we could use that to tame Strider. So just like with the Element Day, I went ahead, got our Anki and RG. Actually, I think I got our Snow Owl for this one instead. And we went and just spent the entire day again harvesting up a bunch of Mutagel. Then we came home, fully imprinted our Spinosaur, 
and I got really disappointed by the damage of an Ascendant Tech Railgun. Like, only 731? Really? I feel like an Ascendant Tech Railgun should do a whole lot more damage than that. Plus, it uses the battery up almost instantly. I think it's two shots. So, that was pretty garbage. But, yeah, peeps, that was pretty much all that happened in this episode. Sorry it's so short, but I hope you all enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you all in the next Over one. Over here, mate.